Yeah, what's poppin'? Will is one support, share, hit the like respectfully, on the respectfully. So hustle calls out DNA tooth. Or should I say the real DNA tooth, right? Allegedly, she says that she found out who the real DNA tooth is. The man behind the puppet, the man behind it, the animation voice, right? Now I know, you know, this ain't the first time that somebody come to light and said that, right? This goes back to Harlem, what's his name? No Mercy, yeah, yeah. This goes back to No Mercy. He I, he might have been the first one, or at least one of the first people who brought the real alleged information of who this person really was, right? He dropped a name and everything. He had, I believe he had put up a photo, but see, nothing came from it because it didn't stop nothing that DNA Tooth was doing. And listen, I remember I used to be like a, a big fan of DNA Tooth, right? But I did start paying attention to some of the things he was doing. And if you got if you anybody that stands for something, principle and morals, then you understand that this should be a line between entertainment and reality. Consequences can come from this internet thing, right? DNA Tooth, one of the more successful personalities in battle in the battle rap community. But at the same time, you always been like Battle Rap's most wanted. I didn't watch this brother exposed where people work. I don't watch him, you know, call people's parents. So I remember that time. The thing that turned me off from DNA too was that time I see, I watched him troll Surf's father, right? I wasn't even a Surf fan like that. But he had managed to find Sue Surf's father's number. Surf was in the spaces talking about it. And he like, oh, how you find my, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking the same thing. Because just think about it. Here it is. Somebody reaches out to your father, trolling your father from and using the guise of an animated tooth puppet to do it. You don't know who this person is. That can be looked at as, you know, do I need to like watch my back? You know, that's like that can be looking at as a dangerous thing. Like, who is this person? If you can find that type of information with such ease, and I don't know exactly who you are, you know what I'm saying? So DNA Truth did a lot of shenanigans, and I'm like, I, I can't really rock with that. I think he needed to understand that there's a line between entertainment and reality. I don't know what him and Hustle's issue is per se, but she was on here that. You know what I'm saying? She she said, hey, DNA Tooth, can we have a conversation real quick or not? It's you or not. She puts up a photo, allegedly. She says that that's supposed to be him in that photo, Right? She says, DNA Tooth, I found your real YouTube page. You wanted my attention, right? I had time today. Hey, DNA Tooth, I got your Addy, right? Now, she might have been the first one to actually put out an address, but I, I, I noticed she covered it up with like a smiley face, right? And you know why? Because it's like this. I remember there was a time where Twerk, had ran down on some on some dude and put hands on some dude because they thought that it was mistaken identity. Twerk was looking for DNA Tooth and they had put hands on somebody who wasn't even him. You know, just just a reminder of how much people really want to get their hands on DNA Tooth. And that's why I believe Hustle covered up the address because if she really puts it out there and let's say it really is him, they can get that man hurt. People don't forget, fam. People don't forget and even worse, let's say it's not his address. Let's say somebody else lives there or whatever the case, right? And somebody else get hurt again over him. Then they too play a dangerous game, fam. And yeah, you know, the most, you know, the quickest thing to say is, well, she not the first one to say she knows who DNA Tooth is. Man, please, that ain't the real DNA Tooth. But maybe she was on to something because he ended up blocking her on Twitter. <laughs> he ended up blocking her. You know what I mean? He's usually the trolly. He's usually the troller. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, she was trolling him and he blocked her. At the end of the day, I'm just say this. I don't wish anything on anybody. And I know a lot of people probably look at it like, well, this is hustle. You know, she got a nasty attitude about herself. Who cares if he trolls her and stuff like that, whatever. You know, I get that and all that. I'm I, Me, I'm talking in general. You know? There's got to be a line between entertainment and reality, fam. That stuff can come back to you. You know what I'm saying? 
Like people don't take kind of that. You know, you got a, 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 a man who is using an animated voice and a puppet. It's entertainment to us and others, but not everybody playing. It's, of course, it's going to be entertainment to people who are not being affected by what he's doing. Sometimes you got to put yourself in other people's shoes because it could happen to you just as easily as it happened to the last person. People don't think about that, fam. This internet can get folks hurt. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just leave it as that, man. Really, leave your comments and thoughts on the situation. You know what I mean? I'm out.